Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to recreate the super fun Halloween tutorial. This is inspired by the Suicide Squad Enchantress and a makeup face chart by Milk1422. To get started, I'm going to prep my skin using the LA Girl Pro Prep HD Face Primer. Then right over top, I'm going to apply my e.l.f. Cosmetics foundation. I will have all the links, as usual, listed in the description box for you guys to shop directly, as well as more information and discount codes. So we're just going to blend that all over. Then to start shaping the face, adding highlight and contour, I'm first taking the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Concealer. This is in a shade about two to three shades lighter than my skin tone. And we're going to place this in the highlight areas. I'm placing this down the bridge of my nose, my chin, under my eye, jawline, and forehead. Then using a damp beauty blender, I'm going to blend this out. Then in the contour areas, I'm taking that same concealer, this time in a color that is about two shades darker. And I'm placing that in the contour areas. So the sides of my nose, my cheekbones, on the top of my forehead, under my lip, and jawline. Then again, taking my beauty blender, I'm going to blend this out. So this alone is very wearable. I'm going to go a step further by highlighting a bit more to create more of a dramatic, sharper face. So I'm going to add a bit more of extra highlight just to really chisel out these areas, creating stronger features. To set everything and give a matte finish, I'm using CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Pro Powder. I'm going to apply this with a sponge. I'm going to place this on the highlight areas to help set, but also lighten and brighten those areas. You can see this really starts to chisel out the nose, giving a very slender shape and also creates more of a sunken in look around the cheekbone. Same thing, I'm going to set in deep in the contour, this time using the Smashbox Duo Powder Palette. I'm taking the lighter contour shade and placing this right over top those contour areas. The main focus here is definitely the cheekbones, giving that sunken in and chiseled out look. For my brows, I'm going to start by filling them in as normal, taking my e.l.f. brow cream and a brow brush, just filling in the natural shape, but also thickening them up a bit more in the tail area and also darkening the color. So once my brows are ready, I'm going to move on and the next step is taking a colored mascara. I'm going to take a purple mascara from NYX and I'm going to place this right over top of the brow. So using my Bad Habit Aphrodite palette, this is one of my favorite palettes. I'm going to take Heartbreak, which is a matte black shadow, and I'm going to place this on the lid corner to corner. I'm really gonna pack that color on. Then I'm going to take a fluffier brush and blend this out throughout the crease. This is going to give a very dark, dramatic, smoked out look. Taking that same fluffy brush, I'm also going to bring this down on the lower lash line about three quarters of the way over. Then to add that pop of shimmer and metallic, I'm using this Glazen Eye Gloss in Mermaid from Butter London Cosmetics. This is a really cool product. It's actually like a jelly or a gel. So I'm going to use a silicone applicator to apply this. You could also use your finger or a brush. I'm going to place this right on the lid, blending up and outward. For liquid liner, I'm using the Tarte Man Eater and I'm placing this on the top lash line corner to corner. Then I'm going to take a black eyeliner pencil and place this on the waterline. Moving on. <laughs> This is a water activated paint set. And I'm first going to take the white. Using a teeny tiny brush, I'm going to start the polka dot. Then following that same technique, I'm going to take black, blue, and purple all over and around the eye. To finish up the eye, I'm going to add my falsies. So I'm using the social eyes lashes and I'm placing these on top and bottom. And you can see the actual eye look a bit better when I close my eyes or look down here. For a shimmery highlight, I'm using the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm taking this light white highlight and placing this down the bridge of my nose, brow bone, my cheekbones, and Cupid's bow of my lip. 
To move on to the really artsy part of this look, I'm going to go back to that black liquid liner from Tarte and I'm going to mimic the tattooed look from the face chart. So following those same or similar symbols, I'm going to place these on my forehead, top to bottom, meeting to the brow. Then again, following down from the bottom of my eye to my jawline. I also placed a few symbols down the bridge of my nose. You could of course alter this however you would like. If you would like to add more, remove some, change the symbols, make words, etc. I liked the very dark, intense lip, so I'm gonna take this matte blue and place this on the corners of top and bottom lip. Then in the center, blending outward, I'm going to use a matte black. I'm also going to use a small brush to overline and give a more theatrical sort of grimace. You can see I overlined, but I also curved outward and upward, giving sort of like a smile. It kinda reminds me of the Joker. It's like creepy, but sexy. <laughs> Again, that face chart has that animated sort of look to it with that white bright highlight. So I'm gonna follow through using that on the lip, creating a highlight. Adding the white on the face and lip just give a really like animated painted look. It just really makes the look pop. I'm going to add colored contacts and a wig. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. I had so much fun recreating it. Be sure to check out the description box for more information. I would love to know what you're going to be for Halloween this year, so be sure to comment that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.